The Foundation for the National Institutes of Health proudly honors Jennifer Doudna, Professor of Biochemistry, Biophysics, and Structural Biology from the University of California, Berkeley, with the 2014 Lurie Prize in the Biomedical Sciences. I study RNA because I've been fascinated for a long time in the possibility that this is a molecule that played a fundamental role in the origin of life and I think we see a lot of evidence in modern biology that RNA molecules are involved in controlling a lot of the aspects of gene expression that scientists have found fundamental to the ways that uh, life has evolved and the way that cells and, and tissues and organisms operate. My lab started working on CRISPR biology in the mid-2000s uh, after a colleague of mine here at Berkeley had called my attention to the discovery of these repetitive elements in bacterial genomes. At the time, I thought this was a very interesting uh, biological phenomenon in which bacteria could use small RNAs to defend their genomes, effectively a bacterial adaptive immune system. I think we can describe the CRISPR-Cas9 tool as a pair of precision DNA scissors. This is a molecule that has the ability to use a guide RNA sequence to bind to a particular site in DNA, could be in a chromosome, for example, and to make a precision cut in the DNA that breaks the DNA molecule um, very precisely. And once that happens, cells have repair machinery available to fix the broken ends of the DNA. And when that, when that repair happens, it's possible to introduce new genetic information at the broken site. I think many of us are very excited about the potential for CRISPR tools to be useful in clinical applications. There's a, uh, I think, a very real possibility that the CRISPR and particularly the Cas9 uh, RNA guided protein will be useful for correcting genetic mutations in human cells and, and tissues in a way that has really not been possible previously, or certainly not possible to do easily. The real question is, is how, to, how to do this, how to do it safely, and how to do it ethically. And I think those are, are questions that uh, all of us in the scientific community will be uh, thinking hard about as we go forward, uh, go forward with the technology. I've always done basic scientific research, not, not clinically focused at all. And I've been motivated by my desire to understand the world and, and biology in particular, I guess. Um, but occasionally I think about how I might feel if I met someone who had been affected, who had their health uh, improved through something that, through some aspect of work that had been done by me or by my laboratory. And I, I feel very excited about that possibility. It seems um, now more possible given the, the potential, I think, of the, of the CRISPR-Cas9 research tool uh, to become something that will be used therapeutically. And if that were to come to pass, I, I'd, be, I'd be very, very excited and very honored, actually. <laughs>